So welcome to online guest here on Bandbond. Today with Camelot singer Tommy Korvik. Camelot will release a new live experience called I Am The Empire, live from the O13. I'm going to talk about that, of course. But first, how has the COVID-19 situation affected Camelot? I mean, it's pretty much been uh, uh, business as usual for us. I mean, we had um, uh, everything was planned this way anyway. We had we had kind of a gap that we we thought that we would uh, work on the new album uh, scheduled for release next year. So we have this this gap to work on it now. I mean, the way it works uh, for for I think most bands now is that you work internet uh, the internet way. And that's also what we do, except for, you know, I I usually go down to Germany um, to put the bits and pieces together in the end with with all the vocals and all the uh, last last arranging and everything for the album. So uh, we don't know what that that looks like yet, but um, definitely, you know, it's been it's been we've been pretty lucky. We didn't have a lot of touring scheduled for this year due to the, the work of the album. So. So it's been pretty pretty good for us. We've been r- really in a lucky situation. Uh, I mean, thinking about the future a bit. Um, I mean, obviously you're releasing a new al- live album. We're going to talk about it in a few few minutes, and uh, you're going to release a new studio album as well. But uh, I was yeah. wondering your thoughts about, uh, I mean, the, the live scene in the future to come, the future concerts. What what will it be like for you guys, and what will it be like for for the audience and the fans attending the concerts? In your opinion, what do you think? Well, I think it, it's it's a little alarming since this is just keeps on going. You know, it's kind of like stretches out over time. When it's when it all started, we thought that you know a couple months maybe, and uh, now it, it looks like years maybe. So we it, it's really it's not um, so to speak. It's not. Uh, an amazing time to be an artist at this at this point, you know. Of course, you want to release an album, you want to see all your fans. I I don't know to be honest. I, I really don't know, and I think no one knows what it's going to be uh, like. But for sure, it's it's a little scary time to be, uh, depending on the on the live scene. I think. Uh, I hope that when this ends, because uh, it will end at some point. I don't think it'll look. The, the exact same as it did before COVID, but I think it's going to get back to a, a, a good level of people being able to tour and stuff. But um, I think, yeah, I think people will be starved yeah. for, for music and, and uh, uh, entertainment because I think it's really important, even if that's the last thing to come back to people, um, you know, because it's not necessary to survive. It's not, it's not like food or or uh, a roof over your head, but it's it's definitely something I think people it's more important than, than you th- maybe th- than you think hmm. uh, for people to actually be able to see their favorite band or go to a, a gathering, a social gathering. Yeah. So I hope I hope people will be uh, will be coming out to the shows when when it's time. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Uh, listen, you have. You have a new live album, concert, DVD, Blu ray, everything. I Am the Empire, live from the O13, 13, 13, out August 14th. Uh, in the press release yeah. we got from your record company, it says an electrifying concert, concert experience. So uh, tell us all about it. What, what can we expect? expect? I mean, I've been a, a part of the band for uh, since 2012. Actually, a little bit before that, and uh, released three albums, three albums uh, with with me as a singer. Uh, we we felt that because the last DVD was kind of the you know like bits and pieces from the past, from from whatever was happening then, and um, we felt that uh, we wanted to show the, the the fans and the people around the world what we are about now, and what what's happened since the last DVD, you know, so. So we uh, we feel like we've evolved as as a uh, as a live act uh, first and foremost. Like we want to give something really special to every uh, person that's in the in the hall that night or in the club. So uh, you can expect a lot of interaction between band and fans. 
uh, I would say, and uh, we really try to make make an ex- make it an experience for people, uh, for anyone who's in the in the hall and goes home that night. We want that uh, person to take something home, you know, like we we saw something really cool tonight, you know, mm-hmm. and that's what we want to portray in this DVD. Uh, I think you know the the love between the band and the fans. Uh, we, you released one song, I think, from the from the upcoming DVD so far, uh, with featured guests as well. And you, and you like to bring on guests, and in this new concert, it's Elisa from Archenemia, Elise from Amaranth, Charlotte from Delane, and Lauren. Uh, it seems a bit crowded on stage. How do you fit everybody in? <laughs> it is it is crowded sometimes, but yeah. it also adds to the. I mean, it, it's cool. To have all these flavors, I think you know, and also spe- especially for uh, for the people that actually was on the recording to be able to join us on stage for the DVD was was amazing, you know. And it, it's um, it, a lot of the times when you see people uh, collaborating, it's on a screen behind the behind the band, you know, because they it's really hard to get together and to have everyone. Uh, present in the same room but uh, we managed to have that for the DVD which was uh, I think an awesome treat for everyone cool cool, cool. Uh, you mentioned it earlier but uh, you've been thinking about a new studio album of course uh, what what does the plans look like at this point for you we're working away you know uh, every day and um, sending files back and forth as, as as soon as we can meet, we'll meet up again and and go over things. But uh, for now, this is what we have to work with, and um, it's uh, it's coming along great. We have a lot of ideas, and uh, uh, I mean, I think we're in a way better shape this time around than the last album when it comes to where we are in the process mm-hmm. um, at this point in time. So that that's that's awesome. I think it's going to be a very melodic album. Also, probably a few heavier tracks. Mm-hmm. But um, it's also, you know, we, we always try to do something that it has to, of course, be what people expect a little bit. Like we have have to have certain elements and stuff. But we also think about how we can make it fresh and and uh, new and exciting. So uh, I guess that's kind of a where we are now. We have we have to look at what we have and what you know what we need to make that album be. Uh, Roller coaster that that we need, you know. Yeah. You can't have any songs of the same sort, and you have to maybe kill some of your darlings. But uh, it, it, that, that's where we are right now. So, what does the song songwriting process look like for you guys? Do you send demos back and forth at this point through the blessings of the internet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. And um, uh, I work on ideas. Thomas works on ideas. Oliver works on ideas, and then usually. Uh, yeah, well, like I mentioned earlier, we, I go down when we have all these ideas. I write vocals for everything, mm-hmm. the lyric. Sometimes together with Oliver, sometimes together with Sasha, but mostly, mostly I do it on my own. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I usually what what it's been looking like before past three albums is that I go back to Wolfsburg, uh, Sasha Pet, Germany, and uh, just. We, we put everything together uh, there, and um, who, whoever can join can join. But uh, mostly it's been me and Sasha, and at, at the end stages, and we just send uh, iterations in, uh, back and forth mm-hmm. uh, to Thomas and the rest of the guys. So yeah, it, it's uh, it's going to be different this time around, probably. I don't know. We we're looking at uh, probably a couple of months before we, anyone can travel. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For non essential so we, we don't know. We'll we'll see. Yeah, cool. So listen, thanks for for joining in for this short uh, short snapshot of of uh, the Cabinet life at the moment, and good luck with the release of the DVD. I am the Empire Life of yeah. the Old Thirteen out August fourteenth. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you so much.